Motivating superstar players is a Bowman specialty. Scotty's more in your mind, and it frustrates a lot of players because it's more of a, a subtle torture that uh, uh, bothers them. Uh, is probably something they have to overcome and if they can rise to their challenge they realize that he motivated them he motivated them to be a better hockey player when they thought they were doing all they could do but to win you've got to go one level higher and that's what he does the best he'll make a funny little comment to his players that uh, that he knows will catch the players attention and it might be a minuscule little thing that happened uh, are you tired uh, and the player thinks, why would he be asking me if I'm tired? I haven't done much tonight. And that's the point. He realized that there was only one team that was going to beat us, and that was ourselves. We were going to beat ourselves by getting bored, um, by getting overconfident. Uh, you know, that's, that's the only team that was going to beat us. And he always kept us right on the edge. What he did in his practices and how he kept us in shape, I mean, everybody could do that but he just knew how to push the right buttons at the right time. Um, he'd get us so mad because come uh, meeting time, he'd be talking about the opposition and, and completely forget about us. And we'd be so mad that he was talking about the other team and, and not talking about us that we'd go out and, and try to prove him wrong that we were better than the other team. He's, he's, he's a key guy for them. I think you have to get the respect of the team. You can't ask for it. He knew when to say the say the right thing he just he, he spoke a couple times before key games um, and was kind of bang on looking back on it was bang on what he said and he had a pretty good handle on 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 the team's emotions and how we felt uh, going throughout the playoffs